Hey everyone, David Tu here, and I'm excited to be back to share some updates on our new GA launches for load balancing and service networking. Stick around. We'll kick off this video discussing new features available for both internal and external HTTPS load balancer. This feature enables you to test URL maps that has already been deployed. As a refresher, a URL map is a configuration resource that routes requests to backend services or backend buckets. For example, example.com slash video can go to one backend service, example.com slash audio can go to a different backend service, and example.com slash images can go to a cloud storage backend bucket. Not only can you use URL maps to route traffic based on the path, but you can also route based on the host. This flexibility is crucial for traffic engineering but could get overwhelming in validations. With this launch, you can easily configure tests to verify whether a specific URL are hitting the expected backend. When running a test, we will identify the backend you expect versus the backend that traffic will actually be routed to. Moving on to the internal network load balancer, we have several updates to share. We'll start off with an enhancement when using the internal network load balancer as the next hop for routing. For context, you can create a static route, which sends traffic to an internal network load balancer as the next hop. In this example, when using the internal network load balancer to balance traffic between multiple NAT gateways that route traffic to the internet. This was available only for TCP and UDP. With this launch, we now support all protocols, which allows for more functionality and easier troubleshooting. Next feature is something crucial when deploying stateful virtual appliances in Google Cloud, symmetric hashing. Prior to this launch, whenever deploying stateful virtual appliances in a highly available manner, it would require SourceNet to ensure the return traffic would be properly routed back to the same appliance. With the launch of symmetric hashing, we simplified operations for stateful virtual appliances by guaranteed traffic of the same flow gets the same hash. In other words, the hash doesn't change when the source IP and port is swapped with the destination IP and port. This ensures the return traffic hits a corresponding virtual appliance and removes the requirement for source NAT. Lastly, for the internal network load balancer, we've added some functionality for UDP protocol session affinity. Prior to this launch, only TCP sessions supported two-tuple and three-tuple session affinity. Now the internal network load balancer can ensure UDP connections from the same source and destination IP or source and destination IP and protocol go to the same backend instance. Saving what I'm most excited to share for last, Private Service Connect. Private Service Connect enables private consumption of services across VPCs belonging to different groups, teams, projects, or organizations. It is simple, scalable, and secure since the traffic never goes over the internet. You may recall my previous episode covered Private Service Connect for Google APIs. That update allowed users to create custom endpoints for Google APIs. This update is to use Private Service Connect to publish and consume services. Private Service Connect solves many of the caveats that current private VPC to VPC solutions like VPC peering introduce. With Private Service Connect, IP addressing and IP usage is drastically simplified. Consumers and producers don't need to share quotas and limits, and it allows for overlapping addresses between the VPCs. Private Service Connect also allows for multi-tenant services. This means different consumers can connect to a multi-tenant service. With Private Service Connect, producers can significantly scale in a private and secure manner. This gives flexibility to a SaaS provider as it enables easy and secure private connectivity. And that's a wrap for this episode of What's New in Networking. Thanks for tuning in to learn about our new load balancing and service networking updates. Make sure to take a look at the links below. Stay tuned for the next episode of What's New in Networking.